I mean, it's hard. I mean, you've got to really juggle and balance. <laughs> you um, might get it wrong. Yeah, Very yeah. Wrong. And so I'll probably talk too fast now. Uh, <laughs> so do I. Trouble, but. My friends listen to me on two speed and I'm like, can you actually make out what I'm saying on two speed? They're like, not really. So those were those moments that were really fucking hard. Hi, I'm Erin Deering and you're listening to The Work. Hi guys, welcome to part two of this week's episode of The Work. I'm speaking with Jason Daniels, founder and CEO of LSKD. If you haven't listened to part one, go back and listen to that. Otherwise, let's get into it. All right, guys, I am back here again with Jason Daniel from LSKD. Hi, welcome Hi, back. Yeah, thank you. We had to do a Stoked part two. Back. We had to do a part two because uh, and I've not even got to half the questions. So this one's going to be a little more about, and you've been talking already about your self-development journey and you seem to have a pretty big couple of years there of doing a lot of work on yourself, which I think every successful founder has to have that moment of thinking I'm terrible at what I do <laughs> to get better. Yeah. Um, so what I want to start with though is what I, what I first read that I'm highly envious of is that you're in the 4am club. So you wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. You're one of those guys. Yeah. I'm so envious of people that do this. Yeah. So tell me the setup. How does it go? Well, I mean, I, I was a carpenter. So uh, I was yeah. always so up you early. had a jump start. So I never really went to university. <laughs> so I, you know, yeah. wasn't the late, you know, I was always yeah. up early. Yeah. Um, so I've always been used to getting up early. Yeah. But I mean, lately, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I've, my alarm goes off at four, you know, and then and then drag myself out of bed and get it started. I are mean, you I'll, like jumping out of bed at four or are you like, Ugh. Well, it depends on the day. I mean, if I'm <laughs> sick, no, and I won't get yeah. out of four because there's yeah. times I do get sick or yeah, yeah. run down, but, yeah. you know, I'm human. But yeah, normal day is up at four and I really try and use it, you know, have two young, you know, uh, a five-year-old son and a, a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. So oh, you got young ones. So you're in the trenches still a little, I'm little in the bit trenches. and you're still in the 4 a.m. club. Yeah. Wow. So it just depends on what's happened, but, uh, yeah. you know, even yeah, sleep yeah, deprived. Yeah. But Sometimes you're still up at four with kids. So yeah. you're like, ah, I'll just get it. Hopefully out of that stage. <laughs> Touch wood. But um, yeah, so I normally get up at four and I really try to use that time as kind of my time to to prepare my day so yep. i will you know obviously make a coffee yeah um and then i normally stretch a lot Ooh. um because i do train a lot yep. in the gym or running and i just just completed a, a marathon the gold coast full marathon recently wow. so i was doing a lot of stretching yep. to prepare and yep. then i would put a book on and you know and mm. while i'm stretching i've got a book on and so i normally try as soon as i wake up i normally pretty much put my headphones on and start the book yeah because i find if i don't i will drag things on and i might look at my phone might check you know, be on Slack or emails. And early, that's a and killer. Then, and then I get that's, distracted. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I normally yeah. pretty much put my headphones on straight away and yeah. then put a book on. Uh, I'm yeah. literally back on Good to Great again. I really love that book by Jim mm-hmm. Collins. And so do you listen to the same few, like like a lot of books, but over and over again? To yeah. Really have them yeah, there's one I book I've done that. 10 times. Nice. Uh, over a four year period and yeah. I always learn. So I, I <laughs> and, and, and to be honest, I just, yeah, I put it on stretch and then depends on the day. Like if I'm training, I'll, you know, lately I've been down cycling uh, yep. on, on my stationery. Yeah. And I recently got an ice bath. So I normally <gasps> ice bath as well. So Ooh, um, the this Vim, morning Vim I didn't Hoff train. vibes. Yeah. The... So I, it's about six degrees at the oh, moment God. and um, three to me. five minutes depending. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so my wife's been doing that as well, which oh, has been man. fun. So yeah, so I'm just, and really trying to be strict with my routine in the yes. morning to prepare yep. my day. Um, I think it's the most important time is to start your mornings right. And yeah. if the kids haven't been up, it's good because I kind of get an hour and a half of preparation. And yeah. if I'm training in the morning, I'll train at 5.15 um, to 6.30 and then yeah. back home, help get the kids ready. And then yeah. I normally drop my daughter to daycare, Bless. which I love, uh, yeah. three days a week. Um, Freya, yeah. So I, yeah. I love doing that. So I drop her about eight o'clock yeah. and then to the office. But yeah, the mornings I like to start them really early and it's just, you just think clearer. Um, yeah, and even on weekends, I try to try to even start them really early too, because then I can get more done in the day. Yeah, um, yeah. So I normally get about six hours sleep, six okay. to eight, depending. So you so go to bed at like ten ish. Yeah, nine, 10. nine, nine thirty. Well, I put my if I put my son to bed, I normally fall asleep in his bed at eight, eight, eight o'clock. So <laughs> I do that I've just set at my the moment. <laughs> I've just set my alarm, so I go. Oh, I got half hour sleep. That's great. Yeah, well, eight thirty. I'm Perfect. up, and then <laughs> do some more stuff. So. Yeah, so if I put him to bed, I normally fall asleep in his bed, as yeah, most parents yeah, yeah. would uh, yeah, relate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I might, I might sneak in half an hour and nap there. Perfect. And then, and then you go and, again for an hour. Yeah, like, then right. and then back to bed. So yeah, yeah. but I'm, yeah, I've always tried to be really disciplined because I don't really get much time to learn in terms of books throughout the day unless it's a weekend. Yeah. And night I try to, but you know, just depending because I'm, you know, trying to spend time with the kids as well. So yes. normally that hour, hour and a half in the morning is like yeah. where I can really spend time learning, whether it's a podcast or a book or, yeah. um, and then recently just got the book speed up to two. So 
Uh, you That's know, you can crazy. cut an eight-hour book down to four. So it's like... I love two speed. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I probably efficient. talk too fast now. Uh, <laughs> so do I. I. Trouble, but my friends listen to me on two speed and I'm like, can you actually make out what I'm saying on two speed? They're like, not really. <laughs> we just get through it. We get the key bits. Yeah. Um, all right. So with... You were saying, you know, you've got two young children. So I guess, you know, and you're so driven and ambitious and you're CEO as well as being the founder. So how are you managing that time between the two, you know, between family life and work life? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I mean, you've got to really juggle and balance yeah. that time. And, you know, between school sports, uh, my son's playing soccer, um, you know, on Saturday. So I think I used to work a lot more on weekends. Yeah. Um, now I try to, to not, I still work, but not as much unless I like I'm traveling just yeah. because I try to be really present as a, as a, as a father and, and a husband. So it's one of those things you've got to be really disciplined. Yeah. Uh, and I don't, if I'm honest, I don't really have much of a life outside of, uh, you know, my family, my career and training. I'm obsessed with fitness. So yeah. they're kind of the three. And then there's a core crew I train with or train with the team in a lunchtime session. Yeah. So they're kind of the three things I do mountain bike still and, yeah. and, and take the kids mountain biking. Now, you know, my daughter sits on a little seat on the front oh and we God, go, you know, so we are cute. riding on a weekend. So we try to yeah. do a lot of stuff on the weekend together. Yeah. Uh, but during the week it's, it's on. Um, yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. know, you, you you know, I always try to think of like we're a profession, you know, professional athlete and, mm-hmm. you know, every day you you have to be on yeah. um, and really focused um, yeah. there for the team and, and anything that's going on and any problems that happen, you can, you'd be there to solve them or what, you know, what's going on. So, you know, I, 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 I'm really inspired by professional athletes yeah. um, and, and what they achieve yeah. and how much work they put in. And I yeah. like to think that, you know, what I'm doing and the team's doing, we're, we're very much similar. Yeah. We're a team sport and we're on and we have to have those peaks and we have to have those moments of recovery. And, you know, you've just got to be on all the time, but yeah. having those moments of recovery when you need to as well. Okay. My new memoir. Yes, guys, I wrote a book. Hanging by a Thread is coming out on September 26th. You can pre-purchase your copy now by heading to Booktopia. The link is in the show notes. I want to go back to your when you said, because you said in the previous part one episode about your few years of self-development, because when you said that, I was like, oh my God, I want to talk about this now, <laughs> but I want to save it for this episode. So what did that look like for you? Now, you, you said you did a lot of soul searching. So yeah. was that just, you know, how did you do that? You know, how, um, like, how did that time go for you? It, t- it was a five-year period, to be honest. So wow. it wasn't short. Uh, yeah. like it didn't happen quick. I yeah, wasn't yeah. interested in it, to be honest. Like I really wasn't. Uh, I was probably 26. Oh, wow. Um, and I went to my first kind of course and I was like, I'm not interested in this stuff. I don't need it. Like, and I went to Landmark in 2015. Um, I can't remember how old I was then. I was in maybe 26 or something like that. And, yeah. And I just wasn't interested in it, yeah. um, to be honest. I, 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 Landmark took me, I, like the fir- after the first hour, I loved it. But I mean, after that, I joined a Toastmasters club and then learned how to public speak and just, just and, and more because I didn't get up. I was like, I need to learn how to get up and talk. If, yeah. You know, talking in front of five people, you can be nervous enough. I need to understand how to do this. Yeah. So I kind of just went on this slow journey over five years. Mm-hmm. And then um, the first book I listened to was, uh, it was a couple, there was always podcast, but it was the founder of Lululemon's book in 2018. That was kind of the first pinnacle book. Okay. Um, yeah. But then at the same time found mentors as well, because a lot of my mentors were, I suppose, in the building industry. And then- Totally different skill set, I guess. Yeah. Right? And I was yeah. like, there's not many founders to yeah. meet. So I yeah. ended up meeting the founder of Penny Skateboards and it took me about eight months to get a coffee with him. <laughs> I hustled you, him a little you, too much. Yeah, you persisted. I was very persistent. I love that. that you don't give up. You annoy them until they're like, I need to get this guy off my back. <laughs> I will bloody hell meet with him. Yeah, and that was around 2016. So, it was yeah. kind of early and it just I was just, you know, really lucky to meet Ben and, and yeah. he just, it was, and to be honest, I learned a lot about brand with him and, yeah. and staying in your lane and, and, and it just, it was just, and that was a really great moment and he was such a legend um, and really helpful and, so it was just this long journey. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't and, it, and then through that journey, I started to realize that, and, bec- you know, when I start to understand that I'm doing too many things and mm-hmm. this isn't actually working and I'm confronting mm-hmm. the brutal facts. And, yeah, you know, we, we, there was weeks I actually couldn't pay myself even in 2018. Wow. We didn't have enough because we were waiting to be paid by retailers where yeah, I had yeah. to pay the team and I couldn't even pay my salary. So those were those moments that were really fucking hard. Yes. And that, that's where these books came into play going, I need to learn. Like, I don't know what I don't know. Mm. Um, so it's kind of a solid, you know, 
four year period, I yeah. suppose, from or three, four year period of like from my first kind of course to really getting into books. Yeah. I think people think it's like, oh, that happened and it's really quickly that happens. And yes. for me, it was actually took time. And I think also a lot of people think that the self development journey is one that's going to cost you a lot of money and it's going to be this really laborious, like externally, you know, like it's going to, you know, but it really for you, it was listening to books. You had a mentor, but it was that real, you did it yourself, you know, yeah. you just, you just like kind of were honest with yourself and you know, sort of just went, oh, shit. This, yeah. Know. And then I started giving the books to, to teammates yeah. and friends and said, you should listen to this. I'd love your feedback. And then yeah. everyone started kind of going on this book journey and we just yeah. all started, you know, learning from it and making decisions. And yeah, like you said, like a book is cheaper than, you know, going for breakfast. Yeah. yeah an audio book is cheaper than going for breakfast. So it's not expensive yeah. when you would go for breakfast with your friends. Like you can, it's just taking the time to listen to it yeah. and, and understand how would you use that in your life. Or, you know, certain books you would resonate at certain times in your career. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Not every book you might resonate with at that time. And I yeah. think I was just lucky the certain books I listened to was just perfect timing in my career and my journey. Divine where I was like, wow. timing. You're like, this was meant for me. It's like, did yeah, you Yeah, know you know, it's the law of attraction. I was like, okay, this is, I'm loving yeah. this. But there might be another book I listened to where I was like, I don't think I'm ready for this in my journey at the moment. Yeah. Um, which I think is okay. Like, that's part of the learning journey. I feel yeah. like you have a huge level of self-awareness. Like, do, would you agree? I feel like you're uh, very self-aware because you're able to kind of do that, set that boundary and be like, you know what? Not for me. And just knowing that you were the, you know, you were the one causing the problems. Like what? Were you always like that when you were younger? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, yes and no. Yeah. I think when you think you have to start a business or you run a business, you know, or a company, you have to call the shots. You have yeah, to be, you yeah, have yeah. to be this big macho. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what you're doing, but really you're like, oh, I actually don't know what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> I have no and idea. I'm, and I'm trying to figure it out yeah. too. And, yeah. you know, and, and I think once I started to realize that, that everyone is winging it and giving it a crack, that it made me go, hang on, like it's okay to not kind of almost have to put on a, not say a facade, but like, and that, and that, and that was a big learning experience for me. Yeah. Like I've, I, you know, I, we have a big, you know, there's a motto, hungry, humble, smart. You know, we're very passionate about that. And um, yeah, you know, I think, and, and tying it back to the values and yeah, it's something we're, we're passionate about. But I don't know. I, th I think so, but you know, yeah. I, I'm very competitive. I love that. <laughs> I uh, don't worry, that's fine. Way, but, you, you can know, be self-aware and competitive. It's good. Uh, Healthy. But in, in a fun way, you know, we love to, and, and even in events, you know, we love to train and, and sign up for events. Then, you know, the next one's a noose to try and, and it's all yeah. fun. But when you're in it, you like, you want to go hard and have a good time and yeah. push your boundaries. So yeah, yeah. kind of treat that across everything we do. Yes. Um, yeah. Every day. Yeah. So I don't even know if I introduced you as this, but you're not just the founder, you're the CEO. So you're running this business as well. You're in there, you're at the coalface, you're dealing with, and it sounds all great. And I, you're on the trajectory going up and up and up, but there are times where there's, you know, pressure, there's stressful situations. How do you stay calm in those moments? Have great people around you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm really lucky. I have a great team. Yeah. Um, so you're you just know, sharing that load. You're like, take that. Yeah. And people on. to talk to when you're going through those yeah. moments yeah. that they can relate, mm -hmm. um, I think is really important. And, you know, ha you know, having those different teammates around you, um, you know, and, and, and I've got a great relationship with the team. And, you know, our CFO, Matt, who joined the team in 2018, it was saw the journey. It was, a, it was only a day a week. A government grant helped pay for half of him. So <laughs> we joke about it Yay. now, but he played a big part uh, in the journey and, yep. and really kind of discerning what I was going through and really kind Amazing. of kept me calm. So yeah. I, think, I, think, I think just something I'm learning is you've got to have great people around you that are there for the why, not to, and, 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 and for the brand and the future of the brand, not for, you know, the per self, like totally. personal gain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I really feel we've, you know, we've built a really, really amazing team around that because you do, you, the, the, not every day is perfect and you're, you're, you've got 400 things on your mind and yeah. you've really got to stay focused on what matters and you do need those times where your team are giving you that direct feedback or you're even talking to anyone in the team. It doesn't matter. Like we, you know, sweep the sheds, like yeah. no one's bigger than the team and yeah. no one's too big to do the small things. So yeah. it's not just about whether you say the hierarchy, it's actually everyone and you can share Amazing. and learn from everybody and yeah. I'm a big believer in that. So yeah, yeah, I think having a great team is and people you can talk to and yeah. you know, I have an amazing wife as well. So she 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 you know, without her we wouldn't be I wouldn't be here. So she plays a big part in the journey. I love from, that. You know, we, we met when we were eighteen before the <gasps> brand was anything. So wow, yeah. she's seen the whole she's, journey. She's and, been there. Yeah, and been she's a part of there. it and, and I'm you know really lucky. So yeah, it's I think it's just having great people around you. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of, of your team, you don't have an 
office. No. Now I love I love this. So you have how many how many pay thirty five? Is it in your in your office? Uh, how many in office, your office around not. We're uh, within our DC uh, okay. distribution center. Yeah, we ship from there. there there's over a hundred. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So in your office, though, you don't you hot desk it. Yeah. So you move around. You don't have your fancy corner office cornered no, off. No, I You're it. a man of the people. You're in there. So yeah. what was that? You know, was that just a really easy decision for you? Because I know ego come, and power can come into play with a lot of CEOs and founders. That clearly isn't the case for you. So was that really easy when you set up that office to be like, no, I don't want to be cornered off. Um, yeah, because we'd already done it in, in Christensen Road. Ah, uh, so, okay. Yeah, and, and that happened in 2018, you know, yeah. through this book journey. I was like, oh, hang on, like listening to certain chaps. I'm like, well, I kind of had an office there and, yeah. and and then we ended up ripping the walls out. And yep. uh, you can still see there's like gaps from where the walls used to be because <laughs> we never fixed it. We were just like, I'll leave it. Like, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I think I decided in 2018 to rip the offices, and I never worked in there anyway. To be honest, I'm always yeah. on the, I'm always, I run around like crazy. I, yeah, you know, yeah. I can't sit still. So. I don't feel like, yeah, I don't, you don't look like the kind of guy that sits no, still. No, no, no. So I don't, you know, <laughs> I sat at a desk longer than an hour. But um, I think, you know, when I decided to remove the office, I think the team was on this journey, and we were only a team of 12. Then we're like, oh, is Jason going to stay true to this? You yeah. know, and, and, and we put mottos on the wall. We don't have competition. We set the standard. Yeah. And good is the enemy of great. And, 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 but there was about staying consistent to it. Yeah. So when we built the new office, it was like, oh, I don't, like I, th- there was no questions asked. It was like, I'll just work with everybody. Yeah. Like, uh, and it, it, look, we have meeting rooms. Yeah. So if you need to get away in a meeting and spend time with a teammate or you need a quiet space, we have a quiet room you can work and we've got meeting rooms. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we, you can take, because sometimes you need to take a phone call that's like. Oh, private, yeah. No. Right? Yeah. Like, you just walk you're like, hey, phone, everyone. Like, it's yeah. a big. Yeah. Should we sack them all? Yes, we should. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then you'd annoy everyone and get in their way. And, <laughs> yeah. and so, yeah. No, we have like meeting rooms you can go yeah. in and work and, yeah. and, uh, and book them and, and, you know, a quiet space okay, to cool. work. And, yeah. You know, you can work upstairs. I mean, we team work from home, you know, normally once a week as well. We have like yeah. a, a no meetings Wednesday kind of get shit done day. Nice. Um, which is today. So yeah. hey, I'm sure I came down. Use, using it wisely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so we kind of have those kind of, I suppose, structures in place. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I kind of float between marketing and product i love those two departments so it depends yeah. if, my de- if, a, if a desk gets taken then i have to find somewhere else to sit <laughs> there might be someone away so i just slot myself just in, there. in there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and just just work there I and, love and then i get to learn so like much. it's you know it's and i think that's the cool thing like we try you know there's so many of the team training in the gym you train with different teammates all the time and yeah so it's not i you think the thing wanna, is if you're yeah. there a lot and i'm there a lot like i don't you know if i'm not traveling and not with the family, I'm at the office. Yeah. Or I'm going into stores. So, you, you know, it just becomes, yeah. you get to know everyone and build a relationship with them. So I love it. It's really cool. It's very good. It's very inspiring. I think a lot of people listening to that are thinking, oh, okay, well, maybe I have to have an open plan. It's like the CEO goal is, I think, for a lot of people to be hidden away and sit at the very top of the table. You nice. know, work from home if you need a day by yourself. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Enough, I love that. <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned, you know, you've got a mentor and, you you know, you've been digesting books and, you know, that's such a core part of, of the brand that you're building and, and your own sort of journey. Has there been one or two or, you know, a particular piece of advice that, you know, comes to mind now that you're kind of, is sort of like sitting with you at the moment that you're really using for the next little chapter? Really honing on who we are within functional fitness and our distinct look for yeah. our community. Yeah. I think that advice for me was perfect timing yeah. when I got that because as a brand, when you grow, it's very easy to want to just make all these other products. And even though I've made that mistake, you can make the same mistake again. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> we're very focused on fitness communities and our yeah. distinct look as a brand. And you know, yeah. we do you know oversized flex cotton, four-way stretch tees tied yeah. back with a pair of leggings or shorts and our look. and. Yeah, I think I got some amazing piece of advice where it was like really stay true to your distinct look and who you are. Yeah. Um, which was perfect timing as, you know, we're so focused on developing amazing fabrics tying back with who we are. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really important for brands is to, you know, you don't ha- you focus on who you are in your community. But as it does get bigger, it's there's so much going on, it's easy to kind of go off track. And I think yeah. for us, we're really working hard on that as a team. And that, yeah. there's so many other pieces of advice, but that's something that's really rang true to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lately. At the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And really building out strong, I suppose, operating principles as a brand. Yeah. 
um, yeah. is something you know we're, we're really working on. Yeah. What do you think? I love that. See, that's the thing too. I feel like when you when you hear these things, you it's really helpful to share it with everyone that you know. I think a lot of people hear bits of advice and then they're like, I might use that to just quietly accelerate you know, my own journey, but it's nice. You got to share it with everyone when you hear inspiration. Yeah. Well, the more stuff. the team learn, you yeah. know, our team learn, the quicker they're going to grow in their careers. And, yeah. you know, I think we're really passionate about essentially, you know, developing future CEOs. I think that's yeah. the ultimate goal. And yeah. you don't want your team to leave, you know, but at the same time, uh, if they do, hopefully we've done a great job. Yeah. You know, and they're going off to do... How... Like, you, your CFO has been with you since 2018. So, how... Who else is long-term? Do you have, like, a good... Well, we were a team of 12 you know? in 2018. Yeah. So, we're a very small team. So, there's a lot of new yeah. team members. But we got a lot of team that... Um, I suppose for a good example... Um, a couple of examples. We've, I mean, we've had team for five, six years. Like Amazing. Ames, in the, in, yeah. That's been there from the early days. Yeah. And, um, Keith, our COO, I met at a music festival in 2011. He was no working way. in a brand and then joined us in 2020. <laughs> um, you know, Matt Kirby, our head of content, mm-hmm. we've, you know, he would been shooting our brand content since 2014. Um, yeah. And, you know, been a massive part of the brand and now has joined us as a part of the brand and, yeah. and, and running a division. So, has understood the changes and, you know, of the LKI to yeah, LKI yeah. journey, which has been really special. So, there's been a lot of team that have known the journey yeah. and has seen the brand change and, yeah. and, and come on that book journey with us. And yeah. so, yeah, there's been a lot like that have known but hadn't joined the team. Yeah. Um, which has that been quite, quite special. That must feel really good because you've got people that have been around for a while that are that are really wanting to work for you. Yeah. And there's so many. There's so many team members that whether I, tra- I, I met, you know, yeah. Whether it's, you know, um, I met her on a, a teammate, a potential teammate on a run or in the gym or, and then you get to know them and then two years, three years later, they end up joining our team. You know, that, that happens a lot, which yeah. you know, we might call it pipelining for future. You know, we might not have a role, but we just love to build a relationship with people. So, yeah, I love that. Um, really and get organic. to know them first. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, and we're very big on first who, then what. Yeah, uh, and the say. high, the highest slow fire fast mentality, which I always, which sounds aggressive, but I, but yeah, I, I think, like well, it. Yeah, I, th- I think it's growing when you grow when you do hire have to hire quite quickly and i'm sure anyone that's had to hire quickly has gone through this it's really it, it, you've got to really try to you're going to make mistakes <laughs> you um, might get it wrong yeah Very yeah wrong. And, and you do learn from it I mean, yeah you know, it, it, it's the journey but it's you know that's it's building relationships early on to potentially have teammates when you're ready yeah um when a role does become available yeah yeah it's important amazing um, you got people ready to they're in, yeah. the, they're in the pipeline, like you said, ready yeah. to go. Um, all right. So one last question. What, you know, you're the CEO, you're the founder. What is your vision? You know, what are your personal goals? You know, I know you're very, very tied up with the brand and I love that so much. You live and breathe LSKD. Yeah. But what about Jason Daniel? Uh, I mean, I, well, I I do set my goals. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually ready to reset them because some have already done. I mean, I, oh, nice. I mean, a lot of my goals, uh, you know, there is the company goals. I mean, yeah. huge BHAG. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, the company goals and the company mission, well, the mission ties into what I live and breathe every day. Yeah. So for me, like a lot of my goals are fitness and family goals. So, yeah. um, do you know, one was to run a sub three hour marathon this year. And that was almost like a three year journey because wow. year one was three hours, 28, yeah. year two was 307. And then recently was sub three hours. So, you know, they're the kind of goals I love to set. I want to do an Ironman or the half Ironman. Then an I was going to say, are you gonna, you're going to do an Ironman. Yeah, That's, definitely that goal. It's just time. finding, making sure I adjust the time to get it right because it'll yeah. be some very early mornings training. Oh but, my God. So a lot of my goals revolve around like fitness, which to me ties back to high performance within my career. Yeah. Um, do you know? And then family goals, whether we can, you know, taking a holiday, you know, yeah. planning with the family and the kids. Any more kids? I uh, don't know. Probably yeah. not. No. My wife wants to, but I'm Ooh. like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I've had four. You can do four. You're so high achieving. You could totally do four. Yeah, well, thanks. Go for it. <laughs> you put the pressure on me. <laughs> I know your wife will be like, yay, uh, do what she says. Anyway, Jason, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so excited to see the journey of LSKD just continue. You are one of the most high achieving men I have sat with and it's been such a pleasure. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. I, do, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. The Work Podcast is split into two episodes a week. Monday is all about business and Thursday is all about self and personal development. If you're listening or watching this podcast on Spotify, there's a little question on there that I'd love for you to answer for me. And that's all this week, guys. Bye.